Right here behind me, I've got a poster that represents honesty as it is in the Adventure Builders Club. And for an adventure builder, honesty refers to finding the truth within oneself. You know, this is before you go trying to tell people the truth and you know, all this stuff, because you can't share something you don't have inside yourself already. So it's all about seeing the world as it is so that your idea of the world is as equal as possible to the real world. And that's why the symbol for honesty is an equal sign. And it's a goal that's basically impossible. So it's a never ending journey because you can never know anything with 100% certainty. And once you think you know something with 100% certainty, that information becomes rigid and inflexible and the arrogance surrounding that makes it impossible to learn anything or to see any evidence that might prove that piece of information that you've coveted as 100% accurate to be wrong. So always know that any piece of information you have could be wrong. Nothing is 100%. Now in the world today, we're told a lot of information. We're told what to think, what to see, even when we're looking at things and we can see for ourselves, we'll be told what we're looking at. And often we'll say, oh, okay, now I understand what I'm seeing because someone has told me. Well, all of that description of the world ends up creating this veil over the whole world so that you're not actually seeing the world. You're seeing it through this veil of other people's descriptions and what you're supposed to think and, and, and the, the, everything you're supposed to see. And that's what's represented in the top part of this poster here. This is the veil of, of, in, of description, of description of the world. That's really what it comes down to. It's a veil of description. And if you pull up that veil and start taking a look at the real world and seeing what's really there, that's when you can start getting to the truth of the matter. That's when you can start seeing what's really there. And it can be very difficult because you're constantly being given all this information about what you're seeing and what you're supposed to think. The problem with that information is a lot of it is, is biased and a lot of it's just plain flat out lies. A lot of people have agendas, they're trying to profit from lies, and there's just a lot of bad information out there. So the more directly you can, you can see the information for yourself, the better chance there is for you to actually get closer to the truth. And one of the ways that we're kind of tricked a lot is there's a lot of gossip going on in the world. We'll be told about someone. This happens all the time. So-and-so is a bad person because this, and they did this, and they said this, and blah, blah, blah. And what often happens is people will say, ooh, that's a bad person. I'm never going to talk to them. But you should never pass judgment on someone without hearing words come straight out of their mouth. You should talk directly to that person before, before passing judgment on them. And if it's not some, someone you can talk to, I mean, we've got internet and phones everywhere with cameras, and there's all this... You can go online and find interviews of people. There's all kinds of places where you can find information coming directly out of the horse's mouth. And if you avoid doing that because you've already passed judgment on someone, you've made some piece of information 100% rigid and you're, you've become arrogant. So never pass judgment on someone unless you hear words directly from their mouth. Get their side of the story. Another really important thing is that once you start seeing the world for what it really is, you realize how many blanks there are, how much you don't know. There's so much information missing that you can't know. Don't try to fill in those blanks because all that happens when you try to fill in those blanks is you just make up a bunch of lies that you insert into your head and then you can share that garbage with other people and it screws up the way, way you think. Be comfortable with blanks. Be comfortable saying to yourself, well, I don't, I don't know this information. Be comfortable with telling people, I don't, I don't know that. Be comfortable with the blanks. Be comfortable with the fact that you don't know everything. In fact, you don't know most things. Be comfortable with the fact that you've got tons of blanks and do your best with the information you do have to make the best decisions in life you can. Another big problem people have is bias. 
So often people will want something to be true. And they want something else to be untrue. So they'll only pay attention to evidence that supports what they want. And let's take, for example, say I really like the idea of the earth being flat. So I could go out into the world and only pay attention to evidence that, that supports the idea that the earth is flat. And I could ignore everything that says the earth is round. And I can actually convince myself that the earth is flat. So it's always important to consciously bias against what you want. Test what you think. Always test what you think. So if you, if you want to think that the earth is round, I mean flat, if you want to think that the earth is flat, try to prove that the earth is round. Look at that evidence and say, all right, I want this to be true, but let me try to prove the opposite. Because if, if what I really want to be true really is true, I don't have to be afraid of looking at the other evidence. And then you, you see that, okay, there's overwhelming evidence that the earth is round. Fine. And one more important thing here. An adventure builder always chooses the truth over a lie. An adventure builder will choose the most uncomfortable truth over the most comfortable lie. So always look for the truth and know it's a never-ending journey.